Okay, today I want to talk with you about something that has come up over the last, like, that's two, say, two weeks. In interviews, there was a question, and um, I'm sure most of you have struggled um, or felt challenged, not struggled, felt challenged with the idea of who am I? Who am I actually? And I can't figure out who I am or we need to figure out who we are to be able to do what we're called to do, all this fun stuff, right? And the other day, it just literally came to me. If we look at who am I from a spiritual perspective, um, then it is not the question of who we are because who we are is the physical form, the definition of who God is. and the divine, the universe, whatever you want to call it. I say God, so if anyone takes offense of that, not my problem. Um, but if God is love, then the question of who am I is not the right question we ask ourselves because that means that we are love of any kind and expression and form love can take. So the question is not who am I, but what is between me, how I perceive, my, perceive myself currently, and that absolute understanding of that I am the expression of love. So every single day, uh, we can ask ourselves the question, how would I act in this moment? How would I react in this moment if I truly knew that I am love and you will see for one it makes life a little easier around the question because often who am i becomes the question that keeps us stuck can figure out who i am so i can't do what i'm supposed to do because i just don't even know where to start so um it's more so what is between me and the expression of love and that usually is a story of healing a story of um awareness what what am I comparing myself to? What is the, the standard, the norm that I compare against? Um, what do I perceive as the norm that I compare myself against, right? So um, it really is the, the digging deep, not the question, who am I, but what is in between me as I perceive myself today and the expression of total love? Now, I want to share with you um, a, um, an example or something that happened the other day. I was sitting in the kitchen getting some work done. I think I was writing letters to my grandparents. And outside, my son, my five-year-old, was playing with our neighbor child. And she is three years older than him. But he lost um, just playing with, with whoever wants to play with him, let's say that way, no matter the age. And it was very interesting for me to, to watch them play because um, he recently got into watching El uh, Frozen and he is a total Elsa fan, like you should see. It's just adorable how, how he plushes when he talks about Elsa. So it's like this, this cute, cute little admiration, right? So he, he's singing the songs out in the backyard and he wanted to play Elsa and Anna. And I know a lot of parents are like, you're a boy, you don't play that, you don't play that. I'm like, whatever, if you want to play that, go ahead. I mean, it's a character, right? It's a cartoon, who cares? Well, but the, the, the girl was raised differently. There's just a more of a separation between what boys can do and what girls can do. And so she made fun of him and she's like, no, oh, I'm Elsa and you're Olaf or something else, some kind of boy character. And he's like, no, but I want to be Elsa because she has the power and I have the power too. So that, that was his reasoning, not that she's a girl, but she has the power and he has the power too. So it was quite interesting to watch. But then she just kind of looked at him like, what is it with you? Do you like girls or what? And he smiled at her and he says, well, yeah, that's why I love you so much. And <laughs> she at first didn't even know what to say because um, I think she couldn't quite capture what the words actually meant in that moment. And um, I think watching children, even at the playground, there are not many 
children that play together and just say, hey, I love you, just for no reason, because there's this romanticized stigma behind it when you say, I love you. Um, the thing, though, is we have, we are so conditioned from a very young age in the way we relate to each other, if it's boy versus girl, what is appropriate to say and what is not appropriate to say, what is appropriate to do, what is not appropriate to do, that even a simple I love you has become a stigma, something that you just don't say. You're too young to say that. You um, you don't say that to, to, to your neighbor's child. Um, there's a lot of judgment around that. Um, what, what has come up for me in that way is when we, when we start to, to look at the very fundamentals in the way we respond to each other and we don't allow children to be, to explore what it means to be, meaning expressing, being love, having it be okay to just say, hey, I love you without any romantic or sexual attachment to it. Um, we, we start to not be able to grasp what it means to be love, who we are. And that eventually leads to the question, well, who am I? Because subconsciously, from a spiritual perspective, as children, you were told when you were expressing love, even was to strangers or to, to friends, that um, it was frowned upon. You can't just say that. People may think weird things about you. And I watched the whole scenario because honestly, I was a little worried what she might do or say, or that she might be like, ooh, ew, or this is weird. But she didn't say anything. She got very quiet. And I think at a core level, it something resonated with her. And she felt the connection. There was nothing weird or odd um, meant by any of us. My son teaches me every single day what it means to love, to be love, to show that kind of um, non-romantic, non-sexualized love in a way that creates connection. And I think he almost perfectioned this um, kind of being because he, for him, it's so easy to make friends. It just go to people, especially when he trusts them, when he when he notices, when he um, focuses on who am I if I were to just express myself as being love. And just watching made me realize that, that as a child, we already condition our children um, in, in what is what is okay, what is not okay, the differentiation between what boys are allowed to do, what girls are allowed to do, what we're allowed to say, especially when it comes to just simply being and exploring. So again, as a question, especially when you as an empath take on a lot of things from other people and it gets really confusing, what is mine, what is theirs, um, why am I here, what am I supposed to do, the main question, who am I, is a good question to ask. However, I think our focus needs to go away from that so that we can express what we're here to do because we feel so intensely. And that is, if we are created in the image of a divine force, and that divine force is love, that means that we are love, the perfect expression of any kind of form of love. And children teach us that I think quite well until we adults come in right away and say, you don't say that, this is not appropriate, you don't do that. Um, especially when it's something as simple as saying, hey, I love you. The question really is, if you have been asking yourself a question, who am I? What if you were to practice to just focus on you know what, I am love. And what would that look like to be the complete and full expression of that? And what is in between what I perceive myself to be or who I perceive myself to be today and um, of that full expression? What is between that? What are some of the stories that, that I build up as a wall in between who I am as a full expression of love to what I perceive myself today? Maybe that gives you a different perspective. Maybe it makes it a little easier 
to just um, uh, let go of the significance of this question and rather just um, interact from that place. Uh, I think especially people who are very emotionally connected to the world, uh, who are very sensitive, this, this, um, uh, it, it almost takes, takes the focus away from us and gets stuck in our head to the, towards the focus of what, how can we shift the focus in the way we connect with each other socially. And that goes back to the warrior energy, right, um, that I always talk about. Otherwise, have an incredible day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.